Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal are how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about an incident involving the Oceano 13 gang and a man named Daniel Fuentes. Oceano 13 is a local gang located in Oceano, California. Oceano is a city in San Luis Obispo County. It all started with a long-standing beef in part over a runaway relative. Shortly after 12 p.m. on April 2nd, 2019, the gang members were driving on the 2200 block of Beach Street in Notiono when they spotted Daniel Fuentes Sr. outside his home. The three gang members allegedly got out of the car and argued with Fuentes. One of the gang members, Robert Garay, then allegedly shot Fuentes as the Oceano man tried to escape. Following the shooting, Fuentes went to a neighbor's home, knocked on the door, and said that he had been shot. He then died. In the course of the investigation, investigators identified and arrested 21-year-old Nathaniel Hara, 29-year-old Robert Garay, and his brother, 21-year-old Gabriel Garay, for the murder of Daniel Fuentes. Detectives discovered the suspects killed Fuentes under the direction of Oceano 13, a criminal street gang. Fuentes had left the gang a long time ago and became concerned that gang members were attempting to recruit one of his daughters into the gang. Robert Garay fired two gunshots that struck Fuentes in the back, lodging bullets in his groin and small intestine. Gabriel Garay and Hara allegedly accompanied Robert Garay and assisted in the murder. Prosecutors charged the three suspects with the premeditated murder of Fuentes. In addition, a special circumstance is alleged that the three men were active participants in a criminal street gang and committed the murder to further the activities of the street gang. Robert Garay stated in a Facebook message to a known gang member in Oceano that he may harm Fuentes. When asked by the gang member whether they should smash Fuentes on site, Robert Garay responded, F that fool. On sight, he pulled a knife on my little brother, Robert Garay, wrote in the Facebook message. Text messages on Fuentes' phone showed about a month before his death, there were concerns among Fuentes and his family members that a female relative who was reported as a runaway was hanging out with the Garay brothers. Fuentes stated in a text message exchange he already had a beef with the Garays over an issue with the family member. This is a long thing that's been going on between us and someone's going to get hurt, Fuentes wrote in a text. A separate tax exchange between a relative of Fuentes and a friend of the Garays allegedly revealed it was too late for Fuentes to be left out of the dispute and that the Oceano man had trouble with his homeboys already. In the two days following the shooting, one of the Greys Google searched Oceano homicide about 20 times. Likewise, about 30 minutes after the shooting, Hara messaged a friend saying he needed to get out of the five cities as soon as possible. Online records showed. Investigators also testified. Residue particles found on a t-shirt belonging to Robert Gray, as well as a cigarette butt found at the scene of the shooting showed strong evidence of a DNA match to Robert Gray. The three defendants remain in SLO County Jail. While in jail, Robert Gray had been charged with an additional felony for allegedly conspiring with the woman to smuggle a methamphetamine soaked letter into the facility. All three men, Nathaniel Hara, Robert Garay, and Gabriel Garay, were convicted of the murder of Daniel Fuentes Sr. Robert Garay was sentenced to 30 years in prison. Robert's brother, Gabriel Garay, and Nathaniel Hara both received the same sentence of 13 years and 4 months in prison. 